Hi, I'm Rabia. And I'm Matt. And this is Sounds Like on Anderton's TV. Sounds like we are going to be trying to sound like the best guitarist in the world ever. Um, That's a bold statement. Arguably, from the best band in the world ever. Bold statement again. Um, yeah, so anyway, we're going to sound like uh, Darren Malkian from System of a Down. He's definitely got a style and he's all about the riffs, I guess. Um, he, I, I remember seeing him play in the uh, Ibanez, it was the Iceman. Um, yes, that's back kind of in like, the day, the mirrored smashed one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, no, yeah. wait, that's Paul Stanley. No, not the Mirror Smash one. No, the Glitter no. one. Yeah. Depending on whether we can find the nice man, uh, we could go with that. Yeah, and if all well, else fails, SG. SG with P90s. Exactly. So, let's go and find some guitar, shall we? Let's do it. So we've been lucky from time to time in, in the Sounds Like series where we found American-made Gibson guitars that are affordable within the budget, which is £1,500. Yes. Um, so, but we're looking for an Ibanez right now. We are. But our backup is an SG. Yeah. Which is why I said that. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> That's why I said it. That's why I said it. So we're in the land of Ibanez. Ibanez. And as you can see, there's a, quite a wide range of gits. Um, but Matt has just spotted and this is quite interesting. This is interesting. Because this is the Iceman shape flipped upside down. Yeah, so this is, is this Paul Gilbert's? This is a Paul Gilbert signature. Yeah, yeah. so this is Paul Gilbert's, but actually Darren's was like this, so he'd be yeah. playing like this. Because and this is 769, so. So that's also expensive. And this yeah. isn't actually the right shape. No. Which means that we're gonna sort of, I guess, sacrifice the shape of the guitar for tonally what we're looking for I guess. This is sounds like not looks like as some of you pointed out. So we're gonna take that theme and move on with it. Let's move on. Move on. So that although he used P90s in some cases, um, we think, given the research we've done, that he sometimes uses just a standard guitar. Yeah. So in that way of thinking, I think we're gonna take a bit of a gamble and try a standard SG. Yeah, and because we learned this lesson a couple of episodes ago with ACDC and even with Gary Moore, that you can't actually get an American-made uh, SG or Les Paul standard for 599. 599, so here we go. So unfortunately there's no cherry red stain, but there is the kind of, I guess that's walnut or cola stain. I'm gonna go warm brown. Warm brown. Marshall-wise, price, DSL, there is none. For num number one, there's no DSLs. And number two, the next thing up is a JBM, which is too expensive. They're all, they're, they're all too expensive. Yeah, and then Blackstar, I don't know if it's the right kind of gain stack to get it. If we've got a really simplistic rig, then I think it needs to be a good, solid, powerful amp. Yeah. Because we're going to rely on it loads. So, the thing is, with pedals as well, apparently he used an HM2, which is a, heavy, a boss pedal, which is heavy metal too, and there's an HM3, but they don't seem to do them anymore, Hi, which is the problem. Um, some people say that was a metal zone, but there's a bit of a debate online. Um, so we're going to try and get the main like gain sound from the amp. The reason that I was on about this as a hunch, not saying it's the right amp, I'm just saying as a hunch, because we've used it before and you were saying how it's got so many different settings, as you can see. Yeah. Look at all this stuff. Tight, deep, bright, normal, mm. mid-cut, mid-boost. Mm. Might, might enough. It's probably got enough tonal flexibility in it to get us really it's close. close. And it's powerful. Yeah, 40 and watts. valve. So we just need something really to... Well, this is a vintage modern switch. It has a USA or a British EQ switch. So it, it must shift away, it must shift where the frequencies are yeah. when using the EQ, depending on what you choose to use. And yeah, and then you've got all this stuff. So I actually think a 40 watts easily going right, to kick right. the hell out of anything. Yeah, we'll give it a go. They're all, they're all really twang twangly. Yeah, but I don't know if that's a bit of reverb on it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, let's get a reverb pedal, definitely. Okay. And then we've got it if we need it. Okay. But I think in terms of drive, we can, Let's try and rely on the amp, shall we? Yeah, I reckon we should really just rely on the amp, considering that, obviously, we've chosen quite a pricey guitar and quite a pricey amp. And I've seen, some of you guys have said before, you know, like, you've gone for quite an expensive rig, but really, 
We want to keep it under 1,500 pounds, and we really want this rig to shine. So but it has to be as good as it can be, and if yeah. you're not using pedals, there's way more scope for yeah. more expensive guitars now. So let's Which do is that. The, the foundations. Yeah. If, so I, if not, we might have to go and investigate something else. I say we just go on a hunch and give it a go. Okay. In the video room. We are back in the video room. Yep, and today we're trying to sound like Darren Malkian slash Malakian, however you want to pronounce it, um, of System of a Down. System of a Down. To be fair, we were reminiscing actually yeah. about how much we were into this band at school. We might be giving away how old we are, but um, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. We, uh, we've had fun with this, to yeah. be honest. It's been more of a trip down memory lane playing these riffs and listening to these songs, to be honest. Totally. But we've had a lot of fun. <laughs> Basically, it's a really simple rig. It's probably, because we've gone with an SG, it's based more on his later mm -hmm. stuff, um, like with Mesmerize, Hypnotize, and anything post-system, like Scars on Broadway. Yeah. Um, but it's sounding really good. Yeah, it's kind of, it's managing to cover the eras pretty well. Yeah. Because obviously, Darren played an Iceman, an Ibanez, um, as you can see in the Chop Suey music video and all that kind of stuff, which we couldn't get. But obviously, uh, we, we know them from that era, but also when they did the Mesmerize and Hypnotize stuff, that's yeah. when I first saw them playing SG. SG, yeah. And we did tune it to drop C. We actually restrung it for this video so that we could accurately represent the riffs that you hear in the albums. We're in drop C, which is most of it. It's much yeah. toxicity kind of stuff. And the more recent stuff it's is... It's C sharp for yeah. uh, the Mesmerize. But this guitar is wicked. It's lovely, open pore finish. The neck's pretty chunky. Mm. And... Yeah, it just kind of works, really. It really works. And, it, like, Darren's not a pedal guy. No. And he's not, like, a complex rig. It's all about, to be honest, we've, got the cl we've been on one setting, rolling yeah. up the volume for, like, the cleaner sections, and that's about it. Yeah. And we've had a bit of reverb up here. For... We've got the T-Rex Creamer on board. is doing like the leg work I guess yeah it's, it's... we've tried the 15 before we've never yeah. tried the 40 well the 40 is a bit more of a, a punch and I guess because it's such a simple rig yeah. we had surplus budget mm. so we thought well why not get a bit more wattage yeah and also like it, the amount that you can do switching wise with between American British voicings vintage and modern voicings like hot or cold mm. and all that kind of stuff there's loads of little toggle switches to really fine tune what you want yeah, and I think, and, go, sorry, on. go on. <laughs> what I gather from listening to System is quite a mid-present, chunky tone. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, and I guess that lends itself to British sound, to me, more. Yeah, well, he did play, like, 
I think a big part of his career was played with Marshalls. Yeah. But, um, he used all sorts in the studio and live. I remember um, seeing him at Leeds Fest when they had, I think he had about seven Mode 4 full stacks. He didn't go through the PA system at the festival. No, it was just through full, the Mode 4's They were very, very loud. It's ridiculous. Yeah, yeah. This has done a really good job of kind of getting us close. Yeah, l let me give you a demo. There's not really much to demonstrate other than guitar into amp. We may as well show you the one tone, really, because <laughs> the singular tone. Yeah. So here you go. It's essentially just like a chunky, it's just chunk, isn't it? It's just a chunky rock tone, really. Yeah. I mean, like heavy rock. For the intro to Chop Suey, obviously it's done on an acoustic guitar mm. with a little bit of, there's three guitar layers we popped up, maybe three yeah. or four, yeah. but obviously we couldn't do that, so I was just going neck pickup, rolling off the volume and getting there. But you could also get if you wanted to. sound with yeah. it and it's it's there you know it's that is kind of how it sounds yeah um and then if i just give you a quick demonstration with the the creamer So I don't think he used quite as much reverb as that. <laughs> it's likely that a few of the viewers watching this video may not know who System of a Down are. True. And I'll... if you have never heard of them, then you're welcome. Yeah. Also, it has been requested quite a few times. Yes. That's why we're doing it. So... Well, that's it. Yeah. I hope you think we've got <laughs> reasonably close and done him justice, because... If nothing else... Yeah. What you've got here is an American-made Gibson SG with an absolutely more than loud enough it's 40 watt vo all valve. Yeah. Like a gigging rig with a bit of reverb, it, you can play so much stuff with this. And it's got, it has got, you can get the classic and the vintage kind of sounds from it. So, yeah. so cl classic and modern. That amp yeah. does loads of stuff. Yeah, it's, it's if you like riff bands, yeah. it's, it's perfect. I, I highly rate the Agnator Tweaker series. So if you're in the market for a new amplifier, combo, or even head and cab, definitely give them a shot because they're, they're awesome. Yeah. So all in 1320. 1320 for a killer rig. It's very simple, but it's absolutely effective, which is, to be honest, what you need really. You want an effective rig, don't you? Yeah. If you're gigging. And you can always add more pedals. It's yeah. just if you like this video and you liked the sounds we got, please let us know in the comment section below. If you didn't, don't let us know. <laughs> um, <clears throat> but all the gear is all the all the three bits of gear are in the uh, description box below, so you can find them on the Anderson's website. And Lastly, I've been Matt. And also lastly, I've been Rabir. Also, really lastly, this has been Sounds Like on Anderson TV. Peace out. Bye bye.
Bye. <laughs>